and I trust Paul that much that I'm willing to allow him to cut my hair. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Fingers crossed, it's okay. The right side is much more higher than the left one. It's all good. Say it looks even. Yo. Yo. I hope you all are doing great. We have something. We got something exciting um, for me <laughs> planned for today. Uh, Paul is gonna cut my hair. He's gonna be my hairdresser for today. Um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. It's been a while since I cut my hair. But last time Paul did it as well and he did it really good. So hopefully his skills are still up to date and the results are gonna be good today as well. Well, we shall see. We shall see. I am gonna hit the shower, wash my hair, and yeah, let's get to it. <laughs> Here we are after a nice shower. Always when I wash my face, I do my skincare routine as well. Um, I use this niacinamide. Niacin <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. My favorite skincare products and are The Ordinary for my hyperpigmentation. Even here, I did get a, like a breakout, I got a pimple, but um, it's not even there anymore and I didn't even squeeze it or anything. I didn't touch it, but it still left a spot. So that's how bad my hyperpigmentation is. I always gotta be patient when my spots that are left after any pimples or like breakouts because it takes several rounds and like several weeks of exfoliation and using all these products to really get rid of the spots. Um, sometimes it's a little bit frustrating because these kind of spots, they really, you know, they really affect your whole look, but it is what it is. I use this one um, daily, evenings and mornings. You can see it's uh, zinc inside. So that really helps with inflammation, meaning the breakouts. That's what I've been using day and night, sometimes even uh, during like the day, just on the pimple and it really, really helps with the breakouts. This one in the evenings, it really helps with the hyperpigmentation. Sometimes this in the mornings as well. I don't like the smell of it, but it's really good. And then of course, retinol, who doesn't use retinol? Then we have vitamin C powder and then yeah and then this suspension but that's not all of our favorite products from the ordinary I actually have some uh, other products that are on the way to me like a specific like one week uh, treatment for hyperpigmentation and like dark spots and stuff so stay tuned on that right it's time to cut my hair. I was hiding my dead ends by curling up my hair. That's the best hairstyle if you want to hide damaged hair ends, I feel like. Because you have these nice curls and then they like get thinner. But I think this is now the time that I really need to cut them. And I trust Falls that much that I'm willing to allow him to cut my hair. And yeah, let's go. Believe it or not, but this is my natural hair. <laughs> and this dude has a meeting in 10 minutes. 11. 
<laughs> 11 minutes. And that means that my hair is gonna have to wait. Ellie is asleep, so this is a great opportunity for me to get some work in as well. So that's what I'm gonna do. Hustle. Hustle, hustle. Hustle, move on. Our hair cutting uh, plans are not going as smooth as we anticipated. I'm gonna cook us some more lunch. How you doing? Hi. You wanna participate? You wanna help mommy cook? You, you wanna help mommy cook lunch? Me. Oh. This little bowl is for Elias. Ground beef with black beans, a little bit of tomatoes, squash. and then a spaghetti squash and peas. Green peas today. Onion, big onion. Look at that. Woo! To the good onion. Good onion is a heavy onion. This is a six pound onion. Mm -hmm. Pickled onions. Whoa, how are you going to close it if you're going to put in that much? How do you like savage? That's true. Because he likes savage. Okay, the food is ready. The little dude. His... You don't like it? Is it good, Eddie? Wow, you already ate it? A pea! Yeah, Ali, that's a pea. While we eat, we usually watch something on a projector. Um, and then today, we're gonna start watching... Wizarding World! Wizarding World? <laughs> something about Dumbledore, right? Harry Potter stuff. Mm, yeah. <laughs> 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 Hi. Time to do it. I had to wet my hair again because it had already dried out. So that's what I just did. And yeah, are you ready? Show everyone your mouth. Go closer. <laughs> that's how he usually eats. All right, it's cutting time. So what we're gonna do? Since Linda's hair, <laughs> we're gonna adjust her, uh, our behind the scenes video videographer who thinks the camera should be pointed towards the ceiling, not to the wall, not to us while we're doing this. Oh, he's adjusting the back. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut about an inch, maybe two inches away from the bottom on the top, but we're not just gonna cut like this. That'll be a big no-go for you guys, don't do that. <laughs> your wife is gonna beat your ass. <laughs> so what we're gonna do, we're gonna do cut vertically. So like this, chop, 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 and evenly, gradually, you turn on this? Evenly, gradually, you see how it goes slower and lower? Uh, the, the lower you go, the more, more more of an angle angular kind of level we have here so that's the that's the principle we're gonna keep it so we're not gonna do any new haircut we're simply just gonna cut all the bad hairs and still make it really pretty let's go I've just cut the volume and now I'm gonna even it out. So don't really worry about like if it's uneven in the beginning because it's just gonna be like that. Go with the comb throughout the entire length of the hair. Uh, simply because you know, the way if the hair is wavy, it's gonna really be noticeable in the bottom. And then, uh, and then see where you need to cut more and where you need to cut less. Currently, it's very uneven. 
It's all good. It's all good. How's it going there? I'm in the focus zone, so I'm not talking. You better be in the focus zone. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Okay, I'm checking it if it feels even. <laughs> Thank you, husband. <laughs> we'll see how it turns out when they're done. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I am gonna finish my hair now. They are completely dry. Um, obviously, I never <laughs> leave them like this. I just think that I look like a Hagrid. I don't know about you, but I see the resemblance. I have insanely thick hair. Like, if I would take away, like, put up half of it, that would be like the full volume of someone else's hair. If you do have the same struggle, please let me know in the comments below. I'm very curious. I'm gonna straighten slash curl them. Let's see how it looks. And then it's probably gonna be good. Funny thing, my hair is actually getting less damaged if I straighten them or curl them. I think that's because if I don't straighten my hair, I am left with all this like crazy out of control inconsistent curls and they get so easily tangled and then I end up with like dreads in my hair and that's the damaging part. Okay, I'm finished with the curling. For some reason they didn't curl as good as usual, but it'll be fine. Uh, and I always finish my hair with bio silk. I use quite a bit. And then I just finish it up with the oil and I kind of like takes off the frizz as well. the damaged ends of are curling flawlessly. I actually recorded a, a like a short tutorial and posted it in the reels. I'm gonna put the link in the description in case you like want to see the action like a time lapse and that's with the old damaged hair and the result obviously was a lot better but yeah I think hair is even. How about this part? This one is square. Which one? Here. It's just like. <laughs> is it even? Yeah, it's even. It's even. Say it looks even. It looks even. Thank you, Bobby. That is all for today. We're just gonna cook some maybe quick dinner and possibly put Ellie to bed while I was finishing this video. And yeah, thank you so much guys for watching and thank you for supporting our channel. And yeah, stay tuned for more.